Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 15th of March. So I've chosen uh, uh, a signal that's come from our Stocks Signals membership. I also shared it with our Swing Trading membership today as well. Uh, I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader, Trade Station, and Multi Charts. So, looking at this SPLK on the daily time frame, lots. I mean, there's there's literally 50, 60, even more potential fifth wave moves just on the daily time frame after the recent correction, and they're all waiting to pop if ES can get above. Uh, this resistance level it's up at the moment so it's about getting all these set up and our memberships are just swamped with all these potential trades so I'm just going to share this one with you today so we can see on SPLK here we did have a previous week um, bearish move then we've had uh, some ABC corrections and then we've had this bullish move okay so we, we had a catalyst for the, this this initially when we had these last earnings uh, back here in November, we were still a corrective, uh, but then we just moved up right here with wave one, wave two, uh, wave three, our early wave indicator suite so automatically uh, labels these. And now we've had some profit taking wave four after the recent earnings, okay, even though the earnings were better than the last time. So we do, we do found, we've found good support on this pullback. And that's what we do. We measure this wave four. Our earlier wave indicator suite is looking at the performance of this wave four and how the probability of this fifth wave moves. So let's go through, just talk through what the software is doing and how we actually put these signals together. So first of all, the wave four is pulled back. It's found support in our red zone, top end of our red zone. And that represents 75% probability it's going to go on. Make that new wave five high into our automated target zones up here. Ooh, you know, middle of there is around about $151.50, $151 there. So that's the first thing. The, uh, the amber zone is an 80% probability. The green zone is 85%. The next thing is the performance of this wave four continued with our 535 oscillator. That, that oscillator has to pull back between 90 and 140% during the wave four do not go across that 140%, which it's done so far. The next, the middle of the subcharts, this is our false breakout stochastic. Now, this yellow line in the overbought do, zone denotes a really strong trend. We've had false breakouts. Now we've pulled back against there, crossed over in the oversold zone. The likelihood is it wants to go back to that bullish trend, if you like. So we've We've seen the pullback. We've got our fib zones there. Uh, we've got the red zone just tipped into the red zone. Mainly that support, I would say, is around the amber zone there. So 75 to 80 percent probability going to go on and make that new wave five high. We've got the performance with the stock false breakout stochastic and our Elliott wave oscillator. So all's looking good. All we need to do now is look for an entry. So part of our uh, Elliott wave indicator suite is this six four moving average high here, and we need to be outside of that for our entry so our entry is 129.31 so we're outside of that 64 moving average high for today's bar position I'm making this video before the markets open the stop loss is just below the way 419.36 and then we can see our risk reward is one to two in just into the bottom end of that target zone so fantastic risk reward great looking swing trade very, very simple to set up using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. And also, we give those signals in our memberships as well to back up and help uh, the users of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite there. So just remind you, SPLK on the daily time frame, and we're looking to swing that long. It's got to go through 129.31 first, and we would expect a move like this to last between 20, 25, maybe even 30 days in these current market conditions. So if you're trading options, you need to be, you know, you need to be looking at expiry towards the end of April, really, um, and with a price of around about $150, $152. Uh, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day and a great weekend, and I'll speak to you all on Monday.